Hey guys, I'm Shamar and welcome back to my channel. So before we jump into the video of how I customized my lace front wig, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information about the hair itself. This hair is from My Bomb Hair. The wig that I'm wearing is their 14 inch bob cut Brazilian lace front wig. Um, it is 180 density and it is in the color 1B. Um, this wig did come with three clips, so two on either sides. Well, I think four. So two on either sides, one at the top and one in the back. And it also came with drawstrings. Um, I had a clip of that, but it got deleted. So I just wanted to point that out. Another thing that I wanted to point out was the cap. The cap is a 22 inch, I believe, but it is the most secure wig I've had. It's not sewn down. It's just literally tightened. And I use the clip in the back to hook it to my braid in the back. But you guys, the easiest wig ever and it's so secure like it ain't going nowhere okay honey so the video that you're about to see i filmed that video about maybe five days ago so i've been wearing this wig probably more about a week now i've been wearing it for about a week and i absolutely love it the curls are still popping you guys i only put like water and a little bit of mousse in my hair and as you can see they are still flourishing this is probably one of the easiest hairstyles I've ever had. Like, I just tie down my edges, get up in the morning, spritz, spritz some water, a little bit of mousse, and your girl is done. So this hair is definitely bomb. I also have a coupon code for you guys if you're interested in getting this hair. It's B20. It's also going to be down in the description as well. You can take, save 10% off this wig, and this wig is already a, a steal, okay? It's like cheap okay but it's good quality it's really good quality no cap like i honestly love this hair i've been getting so many compliments and you guys i did this by myself i am a beginner okay i watch youtube videos just like how you're about to watch this youtube video and i took what i can and i applied it to myself so i hope you guys are able to learn a couple things if you're interested definitely check out all the info down in the description box and head on over to my bomb wig and yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see of me doing my hair. Like I said, I'm a beginner. So if you want me to try something, let me know. And also, if you guys want to see how my hair looks in like real life and not just me sitting down, I do have vlogs up. So just go to my channel. I'm actually posting a vlog right after this video of me on 4th of July. And I did have this wig in, so just go ahead and check that out. And I honestly just love this hair, so definitely check out my bomb hair. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So first we're going to start off by bleaching the knots. I use my Clairol 30 Developer and my BW2 and mix that into a paste similar to whipped cream. You don't want to make this paste too runny because you don't want it to dye the actual hair, just the lace. Then you're going to go in with a butter knife or something similar and spread that um, paste onto the lace, kind of like you're buttering the bread. Also, you do not want to apply too much pressure when you're spreading this on the lace because it will seep through and dye your roots to your hair and you will have blonde roots and black hair and I trust me that will not look good at all also you want to make sure you apply some of this um, paste to the lace that's right in front of the hairline because you're still gonna have some of that lace once you cut it off so just remember to bring it a little bit forward right up right in front of the hairline itself then once you're done um, spreading this all over the lace, you want to go in with your aluminum foil and let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes so it could process. You don't want to over process this either. So after I washed it out and I used some deep conditioner and I deep conditioned the hair and look how beautiful that hair looks you guys. I was in love with it and as you can see the dye did not seep through my lace. I still have all black hair and the knots are dyed so this is how the hair looks after it's been dried i'm in love with it um i'm gonna go in and start plucking my hairline right now um this wig did come kind of like a pre-plucked situation um it did not need that much work in my opinion so i just parted away that front section um, it was a little bit thinner than the rest of the hair, so I took it out the way because I don't want to over pluck that. Then I'm going to pin the rest of the hair back and go in with my tweezer. You want the slanted part of the tweezer down, um, and then you want to start plucking right behind the hairline. 
Remember guys, do not over pluck your lace frontal. Hair naturally sheds and your frontal is naturally going to shed. So do not take out more hair than you need to and that's something that beginners tend to do. When it comes to plucking, you just kind of have to eyeball it. Really, there's no way to really teach it. You just want to make it look kind of like realistic. You know, your natural hairline is not thick as the rest of your hair. So you want to kind of make it look like how that side section looks that I'm showing you guys right now. You want it to look more realistic. That's the easiest way I could put it. Do not over pluck though. You don't want to have bald spots in your frontal. So once I've plucked my first round of plucking, I went through with a comb and just comb out the hair and that's how much hair I took out. I did end up going back in and plucked a little bit more um, but like I said you just kind of eyeball it and see where it needs a little bit more plucking and you go back in um, and pluck. This could take a while though guys so yeah, plucking is <laughs> the longest process ever because you just want it to make sure that it looks right. And like I said, there's no real way of teaching that. You just kind of have to eyeball it. So I did that to the other side as well. I also wanted to point it out that when it came to my middle part, um, the wig was already parted and it looked pretty good to me so I did not go in and pluck that because we tend to over pluck our parts and then it's like Jesus parted the Red Sea and you do not want that. Next we're going to go in and start tinting your lace so it looks more like your scalp. Um, I would suggest pinning the hair back because I end up getting some of this spray on it but it did come out afterwards. The product I'm using is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs in the color Deep Glow. Um, I would suggest applying a couple more quotes if you're a little bit darker. This was my first time using it so I had to figure that out and then letting that dry. Because this was my first real time doing my own lace wig, I did apply it off camera. But if you guys want to see how I did it, um, let me know below because I am a beginner too, guys. So I'll probably be better at showing you guys what I did um, and you could maybe learn a thing or two. So now we're going to go in and make our baby hairs. You want to section off a very thin portion of that hairline. Um, you want it to be very thin because baby hairs are naturally thin. You don't want to have thick baby hairs. That's when it looks like fake, like fake wig, wiggy wig. I don't like that at all. So you just want to make that thin and then you're going to use a scissor or something like what I'm using and cut your baby hairs really short um, because short baby hairs look more realistic as well. And when they're longer, it's harder to form them. You guys are going to see. I even went back in and cut mine a little bit more after this as well. Then I'm going to take my foam wrapping lotion and put that onto the hair and kind of swoop it into the direction that I want it to go in. This is called like forming the baby hair. So this is not laying them yet. It's just forming them. So as you can see, I'm doing it to the other side. I'm going in and parting out a very thin section of that hairline. Um, I know my lace still looks off with the color, but we're going to fix that at the end. So just focus on the baby hairs right now. <laughs> so once you part that off, you want to apply some foam and lotion again. I did that to keep the rest of the hair out of my way. Then go in and cut the baby hairs short. Apply the wrap foam and lotion to the baby hairs and then swoop. Y'all, I was chewing the hell out of that gum. <laughs> Anyways, so go in with that little brush. I suggest a brush because it separates the hair better. I don't like to use the comb part because it kind of clumps them together in my opinion. So the brush kind of spreads it out and make it look more realistic. To tie down my baby hairs, I noticed that it's best to use an elastic wig band because it applies pressure to both the lace and the baby hair and it helps melt the lace for it to look more natural and keeps the baby hairs in place. So while that's forming, I'm gonna do the rest of my hair. As you can see, 
my hair did dry a little bit so I'm going in with my spray bottle filled with deep conditioner essential oils and some warm water I'm gonna spray that throughout the hair get it a little bit damp so I could bring back those curls then I'm gonna use my wig brush and brush through that and just look how much the hair bounced back you guys like these curls are bomb okay then I'm going to go back in with my foam and wrap lotion. Another thing I forgot to mention was that this is alcohol free. So that's why it's safe to apply this to your baby hairs. Because it's not going to lift your lace once you have it glued down. This foam and wrap lotion is also good for forming your curls as well. Like it's going to stay in place all day. Um, so I really love that thing because it definitely helps with my curls. Then I'm going to go in with my Moroccan Organ Oil and put that on the top of my hair. Kind of throughout the hair as well, but mostly on the top because I'm going to use my hot comb to go in and flatten um, that front part of my hair. Um, and the Moroccan Organ Oil helps with flattening it because the heat goes in with the oil and just kind of like lays that hair down. So I'm just going to go in using the back end of the hot comb to press down on the hair to get it flat as possible. Um, and I didn't pluck this part. Like I said, this wig came pretty much pre-plucked. Um, so I just parted it and I was happy with the part. So I left it. Um, so just to keep that separation, I went in with the hot comb on the other side as well to flatten that side down so it doesn't mess with the part. Then I went in with my blow dryer and just went over my um, edges again so I could make sure that it was dry before I took off um, the wig band off my edges. So that's how it looks. Once again, ignore the color of the lace. We're going to fix that. So I'm going in with the black got to be glue. I like that one better because it doesn't leave that white cakey looking after effect that the white one gives. I'm just going to put that on the baby hairs and then go back in with that same brush and comb it into place. So now for the lace, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette using the darkest color. I'm going to dab that into the lace. This is what I use to contour. Um, so I just wanted to give it a little bit of more, you know, color. So I went in with that, but it was giving me kind of like an orangey brown color that I didn't like. So I went back in with my powder foundation from Black Radiance. I believe is the color Almond. Um, this is the color that naturally matches my skin tone. So I just went back in and dabbed that into the hair, um, well, into the lace to try to get a more natural um, color. So yeah, this is how the final result turned out. I think for this being my first time, I did a pretty good job. Um, my camera and my light was showing um, the pigment of the lace to be a little bit um, brighter than it is but keep in mind that in natural lighting it looks a lot more realistic if you want to head over to my vlogs um, you will definitely see how it looks in real life um, so yeah don't forget to check out this company everything is down low in the description and let me know what other videos you guys want to see